Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Although I'm filming this five days ago, a uh, past so distant, I'm sure we're already looking back on it with fondness. Anyway, today's video is like the Saturn V rocket. It comes to you in three parts, of which the first part is by far the longest. Part one, other John Greens. Not to brag, but over the last 40 years, I've become something of an expert in the field of people named John Green, so today I thought I would introduce you to six of my favorite John Greens who aren't me. First, John Green, the Bigfoot expert. Often called one of the four horsemen of Sasquatchery, John Green was a small-town newspaper publisher until the age of 45 when he left his career behind to become a full-time Bigfoot researcher. John Green went on to write several books arguing that large, human-like apes roam the woods of North America, including Year of the Sasquatch, which I actually own. It's not bad. Fun fact, John Green once wrote into Mental Floss magazine after I implied in an article that Bigfoot didn't exist, saying that I had besmirched the good name of John Green's everywhere. Secondly, we have Professor John Green. This John Green has a great beard and just recently became the interim president of the University of Akron. John Green is a professor of political science who researches the intersection between religion and politics in American life, so, you know, that'll keep you busy. Then there's John Green, the artist, who's maybe my favorite John Green because he is the co-creator of the amazing graphic novel series Teen Boat, which is about a young man who has all of the normal problems of being a teenager, but also occasionally turns into a yacht. John Green has said, it's the only comic that features the angst of being a teen and the thrill of being being a boat. John Green also does lots of art for comics and video games. You've probably seen his work. Fourth, we have another bookish John Green, sticker and coloring book author John Green, who has been haunting me since 1998 when the bookstore at my college began to sell his sticker books. I don't know much about this John Green, except that I think he's into horses. His books include Horses Tattoo, Favorite Horses Stickers, Little Horses Stained Glass Coloring Book, and Both Horses of the World and Wonderful World of Horses, which seems a little redundant to me, but I'm not here to criticize. That guy has published more books about horses than I have published books. Fifth, John Green the designer. This British John Green makes excellent furniture. For instance, he created the cool Embrace coffee table, which works two ways. And then lastly, we have John Green, the cinematographer, who is technically a John Green even if he does go by Jack. John Green has often been the director of photography for movies directed by Clint Eastwood. In fact, he was nominated for an Oscar for Unforgiven. But he's also been the cinematographer for a huge range of movies. He's worked on good movies like Twister and Speed 2. He's worked on great movies like The Net. And he's worked on all-time classic like Rookie of the Year. That's not a joke, by the way. Rookie of the Year is a phenomenal movie. Don't at me. Did that sound hip and young? Slight side note, that John Green has not yet won an Oscar, but John Greens as a whole have. In fact, John Green, the composer, won four Academy Awards and also one Grammy. Meanwhile, John Green, the TV producer, has won three Emmys, meaning that we are only one Tony Award away from a John Green EGOT. Based on my singing and acting talents, I don't think I'm going to be the one to win it, but maybe that sticker book guy is in the new Cats. Part two, the tour. Hank, in September and October, you are going on the road in support of your brilliant first novel, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, which comes out September 25th and is available for pre-order now. And I will be joining you in New York, Boston, North Canton, Ohio, Kansas City, Chicago, and Indianapolis. I am so excited for the tour. It is going to be a blast. Ticket info in the doobly-doo below. And lastly, part three. You are likely familiar with the phrase, don't forget to be awesome, but do you remember that our catchphrase was in fact invented not by us, but by my friend Katie Else in 2007? Katie is an acclaimed singer of Irish music, and her new album, Songs from Across the Lake and Sea, has just come out. It is beautiful and haunting and just wonderful. There's a link to her music in the doobly-doo below. Hank, I will see you on Friday.